welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here my name is Emma and this is Hannah Hello. and today we're going to be filming a video all about senior year because I'm starting my senior year and Hannah actually just graduated from my school so I thought we would just have a little Q&A and talk about the expectations versus the reality of senior year. Hannah, do you want to talk about your channel just a little bit? Sure. So I've been doing YouTube for a really long time, but I really got into it in high school, end of middle school and high school. And I do weekly videos about women's lifestyle, empowerment, and entrepreneurship because I also consult women who want to start their YouTube channel. So. It's a lot of fun over there, Hannah Ashton on YouTube. Yeah, she's pretty <laughs> awesome, go subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So I kind of have this expectation of what senior year is gonna be like, that it's going to be picture perfect, almost high school musical-esque, really, <laughs> like seriously. Don't we all? <laughs> and so I was wondering if in your eyes, senior year, is it really all it's cracked up to be or do you feel like it's kind of the same as every year? Okay, so I want to preface this because our school's so different and yes. so weird <laughs> that it's definitely different at our school. Um, so I'll give like what my friends at other schools have said and then what I say. So for us, okay. especially at the beginning, since we were the first senior class, it was pretty much so similar to all other years. Mm -hmm. And that's where our class kind of threw a fit and was like, wait, we're supposed to have these privileges. We're supposed to have this experience and you know what, We it definitely got better throughout the year. Like by the end of the year was when everything exciting was happening. But really, the beginning of the year feels like every other year, except you're the oldest. Mm -hmm. that, but for us, it was the same. Right. And it's just a lot of stress the beginning of the year because we don't have a like a less of a schedule. We're still mm -hmm. there like the full day. Right. So it's still a lot of stress from classes plus the added stress of of colleges and figuring out what you're gonna do and ACT and yes. all of that. So I say like you have to break it up into two two parts. Like beginning of the year, not as fun, mm -hmm. like every other year. End of the year, second semester, it's it's way more fun and you kind of feel more of that like high school musical esque feeling. Okay. My friends at other schools have said like it's their best year, like the rep pep rallies, all the senior events, they loved it. But it's just not the same for us. Yeah, totally. We if you don't know, I've talked about it a little bit before. We both go, well, she went, I go, <laughs> to a very, very small private school. And so our experiences are going to be very different than a lot of public schools. So yeah, definitely it, it's going to be different, yeah. but yes. Okay, great. <laughs> so a good little segue about how weird our school is, well, not weird, but different, is for our senior trip, we do sort of a ser service senior trip. So I know that there was a lot of stuff happening at my school of is the senior trip worth it or is it not? So Hannah, do you want to talk a little bit about what our senior trip was like and do you think a senior trip is worth it? Yes. So when we first, our senior class first heard about the senior trip, we were like a little taken back because right. do you want me to say where it's to? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's to the Navajo Nation in Arizona and like all of high school, we were kind of promised this out of the U.S you know, special trip for the senior class. And right. when we heard we were going to Arizona, we were like, okay. It ended up being a really good experience. For most of my class, it was their favorite part of the year. And it was very different than what we were used to. Very limited technology, very limited amenities, different kinds of food. And so I do think taking a senior trip is an awesome experience. It's kind of like, we, I'm going to use this term capstone, even though we have a capstone project, but <laughs> it's like a capstone on your high school experience, but I don't think it has to be with your school. Because another okay. interesting thing was like, they're like, it'll be a bonding experience for your class, which is awesome. But like the rest of the year, we barely see each other because by the second semester, you know, we have less classes and then we're not really going to see each other again. So I wouldn't say it was great as like maybe a bonding experience, but for each individual, it was a good experience. So okay. maybe not take one with your school if you can get out of it if it's too expensive but just taking a trip either with some friends or a solo trip I think is just a good idea so you definitely think it's worth it yeah okay I think so yeah I'm planning on going so I hope you feel the can. same so Hannah was there any part of your senior year that you thought was just really really special and that I need to embrace it for my yes. senior year <laughs> yes I think really just focusing on like the little things that you don't think of because everyone during senior year is like oh you know if we had a homecoming like embrace the homecoming embrace the prom embrace your senior trip but for me like what I find I really miss is like the little things um, like certain teachers you know bonding with them 
talking to certain people, seeing certain people every day, like seeing those friends that you love every day, like just those little aspects. Maybe it's even just like walking down the hallway or making yourself a cup of coffee. Just those little things pay attention right. to because now I go, I pass by the school and even like the drive there, like I visited her school the other day to drop something off, but I was driving there and I was like, I used to drive the same route so many times over the past four years, like it's part of your life. Mm -hmm. And I just remember that last time I drove it on my way to like the last day of school, it was just really emotional. And Aww. so just, just taking care of like the little things and those remembrances. Okay, yeah, I really like that. I will definitely do that. Okay, good. Oh, that's a good one. So if you could give one piece of advice to your younger self starting your senior year, what would you have told yourself? Okay, this is a really like not fun answer, okay. but take the ACT a ton of times <laughs> or the SAT. Cause I did not tell her to say this. Okay, in my last video about junior year, I was like, take these. So sorry, we had a memory card issue. It was full, didn't pay attention to that. Sorry. <laughs> I have lots of memory on this card. Pro YouTuber. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we were talking about the ACT. Yes, yeah, so my tip for seniors and juniors, take the ACT or SAT, whatever test you wanna do, because when I was taking it, I was like, okay, I just need to get this score to like get into the colleges I want. Right. So my goal was just to get in, like the basics. But what you really need to focus on is the scholarships that come with the ACT. Because just by one point at my school, I'm going to Belmont, by just one point higher on my ACT, I could have gotten another $1,000 a year. Wow. Yeah. And I wasn't thinking about that for the ACT. I was like, oh, I have the score I want. Like, I'll get in, you know. Mm -hmm. People didn't tell me it was that big of a deal scholarship-wise. Okay. So, yeah. If you feel like you're good on your ACT, just take it again and try to get better. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely need to look into, like, the different colleges that I'm looking at, see where the scholarships line up with that. Yes. That is very good advice. Good. Good job. <laughs> that was, like, my big one. I was like, I have to say this because I need to tell people what I didn't know. Is senior prom really that great? Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> this is such a funny question. <laughs> okay. Well, um, everyone hypes it up so much. I know. Like, I honestly don't know why. I was going with my boyfriend, so I was going with someone I loved and was like ready to have a good time with, mm -hmm. and I got to like get ready with my friends, we got ready together, <laughs> and so I think you can make it a fun night, but save the money. It is so expensive. I think Joshua and I, my boyfriend, calculated how much money we spent. We spent about $1,000 on that oh night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Between our outfits, our food, the tickets, everything, yeah. and I, it was not worth $1,000. Like, I wish we could have taken a trip somewhere together. Wow. So, my biggest tip is to make the most of it fun-wise, like, hang out with people you want to hang out with, go where you want to eat, but save money, too. You don't need to spend your whole bank on this one yes. night, because it won't be worth it. I, I totally agree on that. So, with all the pressures of just school in general, how did you also deal with the college stress of, where am I going to go, how am I going to get the money for this, ACT scores, like, things like that? So one of the biggest things that helped me was my friend Taylor and I, who was also a senior at the time, we met with like a counselor for college. So not our school counselor because okay. he's stressed with, or she is stressed with like all the other students in your grade, okay. but like hire someone or find a friend who's applied to the colleges you want to apply to mm -hmm. and like sit down with them, go through the application. Cause the applications a lot of times can be really confusing and you're like, what does this number mean? Like, what are they looking for here? How do I write this? And so go down with someone who's been through the process or hire someone who's really good at it and figure it all out, ask them all your questions. Cause when you try to sit down like by yourself and apply to colleges, it can be really stressful. Yeah, so. I totally didn't know that you had hired someone. That, that's actually- It was actually a, like a friend. So we just okay. met with them once, but I've had a lot of friends hire people too. And yeah. it's helped. I think that's probably really smart because our guidance counselor definitely has a lot on his plate. And so yeah, that's probably the smart thing to do. <laughs> but obviously the stress will still be there. Of course, yes. Finding good ways to deal with that though. <laughs> Video coming soon. Oh good. Um, what sort of senior privileges do you wish that you had had, if any? Okay. So you can talk about like the basic ones that you had and then things that you wish that you did have. So one of our senior privileges was if we went on the senior trip, we could exempt our like world studies class. So we got some extra free time during the day, like a study hall, which we've never had at our school. So that was nice to have a study hall. Um, and then what was our other privileges? We could order food to the school once a month. Okay. This is one I really wish we could have gone out once a week. Right. 
to eat i think that definitely should have been a senior privilege um you know or order food once a week like you can not the whole class but like individually you could order food or you could go out to eat and just have a longer lunch period i think that would have been a great senior privilege another one would be to not take credits you don't need so a lot of kids in my class just had to take random classes they had no interest in like electives like pottery or film or theater because they had to be at school all day and really with all the stress of college i think that they should not you should be able to just take the classes where the credits you need and have that extra time to work to start saving money right. or to apply to colleges and all the other stresses of senior year so those are the two that were big for me i was a little upset about okay yeah that totally makes sense did you read that part <laughs> yes i was <laughs> out loud oh thank you yeah so Hannah, is there anything you want to tell my viewers any sort of piece of advice or anything for people who are starting their senior year or just any new chapter of their life Okay, so I'm kind of going to go against the grain because everyone's okay. like, accept the changes, like <laughs> all these things, which is awesome. But as I start like a, even a bigger chapter of my life, like moving away and moving oh, yeah. to college, something I'm trying to do is have little things that I feel safe with. So for example, like I bought a bunch of new college room decor and things. So I started putting up the decor and stuff around my room now over the summer. So that when I bring it with me to college, like it reminds me of home, like it's still familiar. So okay. I'm not diving into like a totally new atmosphere. And so for seniors, since you're still probably living at home and that's kind of the same, hmm, I would say do activities that are that you're like that you like so if you've done volleyball all three years but you're thinking of not doing it senior year because I didn't mean to choose this I don't <laughs> like a sport or something and you're like I don't think I should do it senior year because you know I want to have time to do college applications whatever it is I say still do it because you want some secure things to go along with all these new changes right. like it could be friendships it could be you know you have lunch with this one person every day like whatever it is but have some secure things too to go on with the changes yeah that's really smart now i laughed about that because that's what my whole inner conflict was before this senior year about if i was going to do volleyball or not i ended up doing it obviously and i'm, I'm having a great time it's actually been good. really good so it's not been too too much stress good yeah oh this is hopefully sentimental <laughs> um so hannah what was your favorite part of your senior year Again, I just feel like my answers are so not what you expected. That's okay. It was our senior prank. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Highly I recommend. Actually, my biggest tip for senior year, literally scratch everything, is do a senior prank if you can, if you're not going to like get arrested by your school, because right. some schools don't allow it at all. Right. But forget the you know $1,000 senior trip. The senior prank bonded our class like nothing else the rest of the four years. Yeah, didn't, were you guys there like all night or something? Yeah, we were there, I can't even remember. We were there from about 8 p.m. to 2 p.m. Had multiple food Dedication. runs. And then we came back at six, at 7 a.m., 6 or 7 a.m. So we got all got like three hours of sleep, but it was just the best thing. I have a vlog up on my channel. Definitely go watch that, it's hilarious. It's hilarious, if you're really interested, we did a ton of things, and if you want ideas for your senior year. Yeah. Definitely go watch that video, like, it's so funny. Whenever I want a fond memory of my school, I think of that senior prank day. Aww. I just like have a fond memory of my class. It's that day. So that was my biggest, like the best part, honestly. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Go over to Hannah's channel. Subscribe to her. Subscribe to me if you're not. Yes. And, yeah. <laughs> and I will be posting another video uh, next Sunday at 8 o'clock. So I will see you then. Bye. <laughs> you can hear the sound of my thighs going. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, bye.